here we go. They're moving in. Was it a beautiful thing? Rocking and rolling into the swarm trap on this beautiful April afternoon. They've been going crazy on it all morning, scoping it out. And here they are finally moving in. So they have decided they like my yard. I'll let them get settled in. And then we will take those ladies and move them into a real hive stand. Beautiful thing in Key Largo. I've seen swarms leaving before, but never seen one moving in. It's pretty impressive. There are a lot of bees in the air. I've got them landing in my hair. They're crawling up my legs. It is uh, pretty impressive. kind of breezy out here today too. They're getting bounced around trying to land on the face of that hive. But uh, it doesn't look like it's a huge swarm. But we won't know really until they all get inside until I can open it up and move them tomorrow or the next day or something. But uh, they're moving in pretty quick. I'm sitting in my office chair and all of a sudden I hear this buzzing out behind me and the entire backyard is full of bees. And there they are. They're in relatively close proximity to my other hives that are down over here. This is the back of the hives over here. And the back of the hive stands, those three, and then the small swarm trap there. So they're just probably 20 feet up and about 10 feet up that tree, that gumbo limbo tree right there. And they are happy to have a home, it looks like. So that's number three for the year third swarm catch of the year in a trap and then one swarm shake off of that bush over at quiescence. Looks like it's going to be a less than five minute event. They're going to all be inside of it pretty quick. The number of bees in the air is drastically reducing. And they're all landing on that face and swarming or fanning their little wings to let everybody know that this is where we're going to stop and this is our new home. Let's see if I can get a little close up there. What's going on? What's going on? So there you go, that's the front of the hive or the swarm trap as everybody's moving in. And it looks like they're all kind of having a good time. They're going to find themselves a new home and start making me some honey. Look at them all just running into that, into that entrance. They are just pouring in. There's probably only a couple hundred bees left in the air from what it was before. So they are moving into their new house. I had a, a smaller swarm trap on this tree last weekend or two weekends ago and I had a ton of scout activity on it and they didn't end up going into the trap they ended up moving off somewhere else so I missed that one and I swapped that smaller swarm trap out with this larger volume one and it seems to have uh, 
done the trick. This large volume swarm trap with swarm commander in it has been on the pole or on this tree for, well, I don't know, five or six days. And there's been scout activity on it pretty much every day. Uh, I don't think it could possibly be the same swarm from 10 days ago. I can't imagine they were open from 10 days, but there are so many feral beehives in all of these power poles up and down US-1 that every 10th pole has a beehive in it and it's that time of year. They are moving and propagating and the more I can catch, the more we can save because as the power company comes along and has to work on those poles, they can't work around those beehives and there's no way to get them out of those solid hollow concrete poles. So they just come in with insecticidal foam and they foam up the entrances and basically kill the colony. So I'm working pretty close with FKEC and they're allowing me to put traps up on some of their poles on the way north up to Ocean Reef uh, to help them reduce the number of colonies that move into the poles. But uh, I'm sure this is probably off of one of those poles. I'm literally two, two lots off of US-1 and there are probably four colonies within power poles that are within a half a mile to a mile of this site. So this could be very easily be one off of one of those poles or there are two other beekeepers in this neighborhood that I'm aware of and this could be one of theirs. But all my colonies are in place and active and looking good and none of them would have swarmed. So it's not one of mine, but I'll be happy to take these girls and give them a good home and make them one of mine. <laughs> down to probably, I don't know, less than 100 bees in the air total. And they're all settling in on that box. So I'm going to end this video right here. Hope you all enjoyed it. It was certainly impressive for me to watch this for the first time, a swarm moving into a trap in Key Largo on this beautiful, breezy, sunny day in April. Have a wonderful afternoon.